Welcome to Quake 3D Tutorials. In the past video, we have shown you how to create tileable text or painting inside ZBrush. In this video, we're going to focus how to create tileable nanomesh on the plane here we have. So there are two types to create nanomesh. We can actually use the insert mesh brushes, converting it to the nanomesh and use these. And we can also create our custom uh, nanomesh object inside Maya or other 3D application. So before we get to it, make sure you have selecting your tiles, uh, tiles plane and after the painting by the layer, make sure you have the rock core to be off. That is important. And after this, we can select the nanomesh object, which is this. I just go change the color for now. So here we have nanomesh plane. If I just turn the wireframe on, you can see we have a low resolution. There are two types to adding nanomesh on this plane. Uh, the first things we can add it on the low one and after it I will show you how to adding it uh, if you want it to be in the high res. So when it is selected, I just turn this off, go to the brush, go to something called uh, Z, uh, Z modeler. And here you have the default cube. Uh, when you are over the polygon, not the edge, over the polygon holding the space and select the insert na uh, nanomesh, uh, a single polygon and from here you can just drag your first nanomesh on. So we just undo this. If you wanted nanomesh to be on all the polygon, as you drag, hold shift, it will actually put nanomesh for each single polygon. Uh, and there are one important thing I will just say, uh, anytime you will use nano mesh, make sure to turn the RAND array off because if you don't do this, the tileable will not work. So if you have editing the value and just turn it after this off, it will not work. So turn this off and after it you can edit in the value size and so on. But we talking about this later. So we just undo this once again. Uh, the next things I will just show you is actually if you want it to be more cube in the same area. So you need to subdivide this one. But uh, to keep the low resolution, just keeping it. Just go to the duplicate and just hide this one. Now we're going to the geometry. Make sure you have turned off the smooth. And you can subdivide it a couple of times. And make sure you're deleting the low uh, resolution and opposite is if it was the high so you need also delete it. Make sure you have not uh, low or high resolution otherwise it will not work the nano mesh completely. So here we have doing it if I just turn the wireframe so you can see we have getting more a polygon. So now I just selecting one of them again uh, just uh, drag the first one now you can see it is smaller if I holding the shift you can see now we have getting a lot of uh, more uh, cube inside the area so that was a just quick review about the mesh uh, to be high or low resolution but for now we just uh, keep, keep it simple so we just focusing about the low one so now we want to create nano mesh on it to creating nanomesh, uh, there are two options, of course. Uh, the first one is the ZBrush, uh, uh, ZBrush uh, Insert Mesh Brush. We can convert it. So let's see, I want to convert these to nanomesh. So simple, select it, go to something uh, called Brush, Create, and just create uh, nanomesh. So you just press on this, and now you have turn the insert mesh brush to something called Z modeler. So Z modeler is the nano mesh brush that has been converted. So now we can actually to select one of these, we can just press on the M and now you can select any one of this as you see and just dragging it and now you have converted this to the nano mesh and any of the other one if you want you can also doing it. So I just undo this. So that was the step one, how to use the um, 
ZBrush uh, insert mesh brush to the nano mesh. In the next video, we're going to show you how to create your custom nano mesh brush. And thank for watching.